All right, about 7 p.m. Saturday evening, about 96, 97 degrees here in the garage. I want to take a second to show you how I'm keeping this inverter from melting off the wall. <laughs> so I put this fan, I had it off to the side, now I'm blowing it from the bottom up with the cover on. And I've been checking the internal temperatures of the components inside the inverter using Optics RE and it's actually working a lot better with the cover on and the fan underneath it like this. Another thing I did is I took this cover plate off and lined the inside with that Mat 66 Kilomat Dynamat stuff to knock to suppress some of the fan noise that's like right there. And that really cuts down on the noise. Pretty happy with that. I was surprised how much it cut it down. Let's take a look at the actual no kidding numbers on Optics RE of this inverter. Transformer temperature, 170.6. Capacitor temperature, one just below 115. Output FETs, 127. So, not bad. And I'm not inverting a whole hell of a lot. And I had to cut down my loads. Over there, I'm only inverting, you know, the, I'm just using the air conditioner and living room. Now, I don't know if I got the living room on. What do I got on? I don't have much on over here at all. Yeah, refrigerator, dishwasher, and the South Kitchen DFI, which is the AC, the, the big one-ton unit I have. That's it. That's about all she can handle. I mean, I can handle more, but... Uh, batteries are sitting at 50% so I should be able to get about five to six kilowatt hours offset from the battery bank down here so kicking butt cables are not hot at all nope no heat at all no heat at all everything is keeping nice and cool even these guys right up here these midnight solar classic chargers the internal fans don't even freaking kick on when it's cooking. There's a sitting there. Of course, there's not much solar charging going on right now, but uh, yeah, they're playing well with higher voltages. So I'd show you that. Have a good evening. See ya. Eat some ice cream.